Now that was pretty cool, huh? Right there, that's that's what that's what we came here to do. We came here to get very close to some good axis bucks. And uh, I was actually stalking a bigger buck when I came up here. I heard some sticks breaking right below me and uh, couldn't tell what it was, but I spooked a whole bunch of mouflon out of here. And uh, I just saw velvet antlers right below me about 20 yards but there was no shot and they kind of walked off I put on my tobies and I went around got all set up painted up and, um, looks like a bigger herd of deer was actually coming while I was trying to stalk in so um, they came right on the trail right below me about I don't know anywhere between 10 to 15 yards but uh, right there that's exactly what what bow hunting is about, it's about getting close, uh, learning the game and uh, being able to do it. And you know, I'm hunting, hunting with a recurve and uh, a lot of folks, they tend to focus on how hard and how difficult it is to shoot the recurve accurately, which it, very, which it is. But um, I, I think if you're gonna start with recurve and traditional, try to pick up uh, uh, experience and getting close all the time the more opportunities you have getting close the more shot opportunities you get eventually you're gonna connect and uh, the I think it's a lot easier to get to learn how to get closer maybe than it is to try to teach yourself how to shoot uh, 10 yards further I mean that'll take years and years of practice and 
and you know with deer they can still jump a slow uh, traditional arrow really easily so getting close is really good so just get just get within 20 yards as many, as many times as you can you don't have to you don't have to get one I mean just being that close all the time you're gonna get comfortable doing it and it's gonna get easier and uh, just like that you're gonna get opportunities through the week you know learn how to find them pattern them and stalk in and uh, you're gonna you're gonna get them it's gonna connect one day so it's my second day here and uh, I got what uh, six more days some other boys come over on, on Monday tomorrow so I um, got a lot of time and uh, we're making opportunities happen just uh, not the right one that we're looking for but uh, I still got a doe tag too which I'll uh, maybe take in an easier spot this place is <laughs> pretty steep to go uh, pack a doe out but uh, all right trade wind stopped and we're stuck with a bunch of variables now which is about the worst thing for deer hunting on on this island of Lanai but uh, you know we're gonna stick it out we're gonna try right now I got the thermals from the ocean coming up and uh, I'm gonna really pray that that holds out because that's 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 all I'm hanging on right now if it switches they're gone it's not the mature class buck I'm looking for I mean that's a good buck but I was looking for maybe a little older one that uh, I'm gonna go with that I mean I at this point of the hunt it's it's getting tougher the winds are switching we may have rain in the next few days and uh, with rain we can't even drive around on this island 
So um, I'm going to take this as a blessing and uh, see if we can uh, convert on this opportunity. So fingers crossed. second to the last day and it is smoking hot out here <laughs> smoking hot the winds have changed it's not the normal winds and uh, it's making it's making deer hunting a little tougher than usual if it isn't already tough as it is but um, found the buck that we've been looking for this whole trip sitting up there about what 800 yards maybe away and uh, if all goes well this evening, I'll get some close footage of him or maybe some dead footage of him. So we've got a whole bunch too down by the down by the ocean on this side. And I think it's gonna be a good e good evening. Yeah, I think so. I've been working pretty hard for this. That's that's deer hunting on Lanai. <laughs> It's day seven. We have one more day to hunt. He's up there. Just gotta go get it. <laughs> box I've ever seen on Lanai and uh, I'm just impressed how these things can survive in the public in this public land area I mean it's no joke after this archery hunt of eight days I think there's two weekends of muzzleloader and then there's nine weekends of high power rifle in here and that's uh, anywhere between 100 to 200 hunters every weekend and these things survive it is just amazing and uh, you know, I passed up on a on a buck down here, it's pretty close, and uh, 
I goofed really bad on that other stalk on that buck that was next to the rock. He moved when I went down there and um, I was looking intently at where he was and I didn't check the other rocks good enough and I, I got busted. I got picked off when I peeked my head up and it just so happened he was facing my way too so it was pretty tough but came up here, got in the middle of the action and I thought this big guy had left. We've been watching him all day and um, I sat here and sure enough he's right above me about about 80 yards and uh, I stalked into about I want to say it's about 35 yards clear nice if you had a compound boy it's one heck of a buck and uh, I don't have a compound so and uh, you know I I can make a 35 yard shot with my recurve I'm, I'd say I'm about 70 60 percent success on that but uh, that's not what I practice uh, that distance for I practice that distance uh, in the event that I wound an animal and I need to finish it that's a shot I need to do but uh, I'm never gonna extend my stick bow shooting just to go and try and bag a, a shot that I normally wouldn't take so I wanted to wait for him to get a little closer and uh, he just took a turn and went back into that tree and one on the other side I tried to crawl in and when I crawled in a bunch of turkeys behind me started putting away and freaked out the doe and she started barking and then they just kind of walked away and didn't come my way so <sighs> that's deer hunting and uh, axe is deer hunting it's it's incredible it's one of the the animal has the most amazing hearing um, of any creature that I've ever hunted I got one more day to hunt tomorrow so I'm gonna back out of here do a big loop, he kind of walked up. He was a little jittery from that doe, but uh, uh, with luck tomorrow, um, maybe we'll find, locate him again and get a second crack, or if not, I'm, maybe I can settle for another uh, another opportunity. But I mean, each time these things happen, you get better and better and better. And to me, that's that's the trophy. The trophy is, is your development as a person, as a woodsman. As somebody that gets to learn the animals and learn the environment, learn the habitat around here and how it all is interconnected, it it gives you a sense of being so much more closer to to nature than any any other thing, you know, because you are a predator hunting out here. And these animals live in the wild. When you're out there going to the grocery store to get food, these things are marching miles to find water, food, cover, running from gun hunters. And uh, to come here with a with the ball and, and then try to get within 20 yards that's that's something special and if you can do that congratulations because that's 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 hunting to me Yesterday, got up to on some real nice ones. Just didn't pan out, but uh, here we are with the last day buck. Though I mean, I'm happy with him. <laughs> Just pump. <laughs> this took a while. Official. Official. <laughs>
find myself again in this crazy place. Thinking back about the good times with my friends in our younger days and all our crazy ways. Mm, where do I go from here? Mm, do I let it go? Do I keep the faith? When I close my eyes, I swear I see your face. So I let it go, I'll never lose my faith. I just get on my knees and I say your and name. Now I know Pull me through, bless my family, put it all 